What's up? It's Christmas Stone Fox Media, and I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Now, my summer with my son is officially over, so I dropped him off at the airport yesterday so he can get ready to go back to school and other fun stuff, because school is just so much fun. It's just so much fun, you just don't even know. And so, yeah, I had to wake up at 4 a.m., and I wanted to do a video yesterday, but I could not as I got home and just straight blacked out. So, yeah, that's what happened with that, but now I can finally go back to my regularly scheduled uploading programming, so... Thank you guys for being so patient with me and let's begin right now with what's going on with Nintendo news. For those of you who are interested in the NES Classic Edition, it looks like it has gone live on uh, Target for pre-orders. Somehow it magically disappeared, but it uh, looks like they left the controller online and it actually does say it has one guest review where it says great item, good product. I, I don't know how you reviewed something that that's not out yet, but apparently it's great from the person who never touched it okay cool, 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 cool let's move on from that other news right now and let's talk about what's going on with mass effect so it looks like a mass effect trilogy remaster may be incoming so in an interview with a game informer it looks like mr soderland did come out there and talk about the possibility of a remaster coming because he did say a remaster is something that you can't uh, that you can just do and do it really well. I want to make sure that if we're going to do it, that, you know, we're going to do it really well and that people will feel that it's the same game, but it feels much better in this new shape or in form. Therefore, there's been titles that have come out and have done it really well and others that basically haven't done it really well at all. Can't think of any. And we just want to make sure that we stay in the done it really well camp. So it looks like there is hope of a Mass Effect trilogy coming. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes out for that one. I got to keep my eyeballs staring at it because hopefully it does come out because I know a lot of people are very excited about that idea of it happening. Now, moving on from that news, it looks like Microsoft has fixed one of their commercials where they actually deceptively showed the Xbox One uh, size uh, in a new ad. So, of course, uh, in their ad, they have it showing that the Xbox One Slim is 40% smaller. But in the picture, you can see that that is way smaller than 40%. Actually, it looks a little bit like this. It's not deceptive at all. Nope, not at all. And so maybe they embellished the size a bit. I mean, that could go to a really dark place really fast. But yes, it looks like they have corrected it to where they actually can show what it really does look like because it is not that small. It is way bigger than... I'm done with that. I'm done with it. And for those of you who are interested in Titanfall 2, it looks like the demo dates have been announced. So uh, as of a, a couple hours ago, Electronic Arts did come out there and let everybody know that they can actually start playing it this Friday, August 19th, where fans will actually be able to play uh, new Titanfall 2 multiplayer modes across two maps. Uh, of course, it's going to be available for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. Uh, of course, you're going to get Bounty Hunt and Pilots versus Pilots, and you're going to get Boomtown. Sounds like Newtown. <clears throat> um, Boomtown, really? Okay. Uh, you're also going to get Homestead. And during the next weekend, uh, you're still going to have access to the exact same stuff. But except they're going to give you a few more maps, which is going to be uh, Amped Hardpoint 6 versus 6. Uh, you're going to get 4 base Kodai. So it looks like they actually are going to let people play Titanfall, which I may be a great idea or may not be a great idea if it does suck because... When you let people play your game and then we buy it and we test it out and it sucks if we don't buy it. So they must have a lot of confidence in Titanfall 2. Uh, it does look a lot better than it was before and it actually does have a story which is kind of important in a game in which you are playing somebody else. You might want to know where they came from, what they're doing, what their goals are in life. Just think of it like a job interview. Yeah. Well, that's all the news I got for you guys right now. Like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and Facebook to notice as soon as my news becomes available. Thank you guys for watching. God bless, and I'll holler at y'all later.